things operational to encourage greatness. I'd rather not comment on that public. But how much more progressive is Vice President Harris than you as a candidate in the general? The issues we've worked on together have made great progress economically. No one calls what we did on infrastructure progressive. It's a good policy. Joe Biden has now done more press since dropping out of the presidential race than the new Democratic candidate. He's done more press than he had to be fair in a while. He's kind of enjoying his last few months. But even the baby stares of Air Force One now pose a challenge as he walks up. Victor Davis Hanson writes, the left accepts the reality that an infirm Biden might not be able to finish out his remaining six months, yet it still cannot decide whether the nation's exposure to a President Harris prior to November 5th would lend her advantage of incumbency or more likely ensure her defeat given global exposure to her purity. Our next guest knows, well, a lot about a lot. Mick Mulvaney, former White House Chief of Staff, News Nation contributor. Welcome. I had to look up purity. Purility? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Child, childish behavior. Really? Yes. I know nothing about that. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. We got three minutes left. Uh, big picture. Yeah. For Democrats who pushed Joe Biden out, which yeah. now is admitted has happened. Is it better to be able to blame Joe Biden for everything and say he's in the White House and Kamala Harris is a fresh face, or Kamala Harris gets Air Force One? Now, I, I'm not sure where Victor Davis Hanson is coming up with this. There's no way he's dropping out as long as he's still alive, and here's why. The hardest job in the world is to be president of the United States. One of the second or third hardest jobs in the world is to be a candidate for president of the United States. There's a reason that presidents age as much as they do. Kamala Harris is doing a, a really good job right now of being the candidate. She's only going to get worse if she's the president at the same time. I think it's very, very unlikely this would happen, short of some type of extreme situation. You say extreme situation. It was 90 days ago. We have a little less than 90 days. It was less than 90 days ago, June 5th. Um, when the Wall Street Journal dropped the big piece about Joe Biden's mental acuity, and we were told it was total fake news. Take a listen. Nobody's saying he's not coach, and some people are suggesting that he, he, you know, a bit too tough in negotiations, that the United States throws their weight around a little bit too much. But what's, what I find so shocking about this article is they go to Kevin McCarthy as their main source and other House Republicans, the same House Republicans, Mike Johnson, who just there lied through his teeth repeatedly. Turns out they were dead on. The Wall Street Journal was dead yeah. on and, and on and on. What is to say that Joe Biden is not in substantially worse shape than we're led to believe now? It might be. But here's the point. The whole key to this analysis is how to beat Donald Trump. That's what, that's what counts in the minds of the Democrats. The reason they got rid of Joe Biden was that they thought that they could not beat Donald Trump with Joe Biden, period, end of story. They might, not, they might beat Donald Trump if Kamala Harris is the vice president and the candidate. That likelihood goes down if she's also the incumbent president. Not because it's hard or because it's harder to run away from Biden's record? Bo both of the above. Uh, it, it, everything. It's just hard to do both of those jobs at the same time. And it's also hard to sort of distance yourself from the previous administration if you're now the sitting president. You're now as sitting there. You're now the Air Force One. You have the press pool. As long as the man can fog a mirror, he is going to be the president of the United States. That is, I would say, a, a Sherman-esque statement. That one we don't have to look up. No, no, that, yeah, but that, I'm not sure if that was pure aisle sort of analysis or not. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. I thought pure aisle had to do with, well, anyway, never mind. Uh, well, we'll, somebody, we'll, somebody will email, uh, email about this. Mulvaney, right. good to see you as always. always nice Thank you. you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.